now it's time to close the deal. And Napoli next week are prepared to get in touch with Chelsea again to try to reach an agreement. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, many things to mention, starting with Manchester United. One more, but also more things to mention on Chelsea, Real Madrid. Something to answer your questions on Nico Williams, Ivan Tony. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start today's video by mentioning again Manchester United because we're entering in a crucial week. Manchester United are prepared to complete all the formal steps for two more signings, as I already told you. Mata is the league, agreement with Bayern, 45 million euros plus five in add-ons. Nusair Mazraoui, agreement with Bayern, 15 million euros plus five in add-ons. Waiting for the formal steps of Aaron Wan-Bissaka with West Ham and then everything will go to plan. Meanwhile, it's important to say that for Manchester United there is an exclusive important news and this news is about the captain Bruno Fernandes because I can reveal to you exclusive update that Bruno Fernandes will sign his new contract at Manchester United already now in August in the next days before the end of the transfer window maybe even before the beginning of the new season in terms of Premier League it's a possibility for Bruno already to sign next week but in general the plan is to sign in August, but the deal is done and it's an important update, for sure an important update for Manchester United because Bruno attracted interest from Paris Saint-Germain at the beginning of the transfer window, it was already in May, so before the end of the season, then strong interest again from Saudi, it's already more than one year that Saudi clubs are trying to tempt Bruno Fernandes, but Bruno loves Manchester United, Bruno knows that he can't leave Manchester United in this moment, after fighting for the, clubs, for the club for years, now is a special moment, new ownership, the manager to support, new board, so it's a different moment, it's a different year at Manchester United, and so Bruno signs, new deal, is done, is verbally agreed, deal valid until June 2027, plus one year option. 2028. Bruno will enter into the top earners at Manchester United, so an important salary for Bruno Fernandes, deserved because he's one of the best players at the club, and so deal done. Bruno extends his contract at Manchester United, who is not extending the contract but is entering in a crucial week for his future, is Romelu Lukaku at Chelsea, because we already mentioned the situation of Victor Osimhen several times, you can find even in the video here on the platform form yesterday, but for Romelu Lukaku, important really important week ahead because Chelsea know that Napoli are prepared to attack the situation for Romero Lukaku to make an official bid. Napoli have an agreement with uh, Romero Lukaku on the contract. It's already uh, weeks now uh, since they agreed on contract terms with uh, Romero Lukaku. Three-year contract, the salary is okay, the player is already talking directly uh, to Antonio Conte, already had some direct conversation with Antonio Conte during the three months of the summer transfer window, now it's time to close the deal. At Napoli next week, are prepared to get in touch with Chelsea again to try to reach an agreement and bring Romero Lukaku to Antonio Conte. So Napoli will be really busy with Lukaku in the next days. Let's follow that situation because obviously outgoings for Chelsea are really important, Shaloba also, the situation of Arman Ando Broia, David Atrofofana, Kepa and others. So for Chelsea it will be a couple of busy weeks in terms of outgoings. Pedro Neto presented at Stamford Bridge today as exclusively revealed yesterday. And so Pedro Neto, new Chelsea player, now also officially who could leave the club and we go to Spain is maybe Nico Pass at Real Madrid. They have many players and so there is a possibility for Nico Pass to find a different solution before the end of the summer transfer window. We will see the formula of the deal, we will see the details in uh, this uh, case, but for sure the possibility of Nico Pass leaving Real Madrid is being considered. The conversations will continue, we will see whether it's going to be a loan, we will see the formula of the deal, but for sure considerations ongoing for the situation of Nico Pass because he wants to play, he needs to play, and so this could be one to watch in the next days from what I'm hearing. Also, guys, I keep receiving many questions on the future of one of the faces of this summer transfer window, Nico Williams. We keep having many reports every day. Guys, what I can tell you is that as of today, Sunday, I still don't have any guarantee to tell you that the deal is going to be done between Barcelona and Nico Williams. Today we had reports, uh, and I respect that 100% from Spain, through, from a very important uh, paper and journalist mentioning that Barcelona already had the green light from Nico Williams and now can close the deal. 
I'm not aware of that today. So today I don't have any direct converse, uh, confirmation yet for Nico Williams uh, as final green light to Barca or from Barca to be ready and close the deal for Nico Williams. So let's follow the situation on a daily basis. What I always told you in the recent days is that Barcelona keep calling the agent of Nico Williams every day. Barcelona keep contacts active for Nico Williams and Barcelona are not giving up. But as of today, I'm not aware of a breakthrough in the negotiations for Nico Williams to Barca on Sunday night. Then let's see what happens in the next days. We will follow the situation closely. For sure, Barcelona keep thinking about Nico. The president, Juan Laporta, is still dreaming of Nico and Lamilla Mal together now also with Dani Olmo and obviously with all the others at Barcelona. But as of now, in terms of green light, to come here and tell you Nico is... Uh, going to Barca is almost done, is not something that I can tell you today. So let's follow the situation on a daily basis. On Barcelona, official what we already said several times, Sergi Roberto leaves Barca. It's over between Barcelona and uh, Sergi Roberto. Uh, that was expected already since uh, end of June. Now it's official. Sergi is considering proposals, Fiorentina in Italy, Ajax in uh, Eredivisie. So there are several possibilities, including also Girona. So Sergi Roberto will assess all the options, but it's over. Sergi leaves the club, is 100% confirmed, and so Sergi Roberto will look for new solutions, and let's see what Barca will decide to do. Also in terms of right back, because obviously they have also Kunde, who has traveled to Barmout to sign for Barmout, 10 million euros fee, no sell-on clause, no buyback clause, and then remember that there is Joao Cancelo waiting for news from Barcelona. And then guys, let me close this video by mentioning Ivan Toni, another name that we always see in uh, the rumors, because he's out of contract next summer, he remains an important player for Brentford, but his situation remains one to watch. On Ivan Tony, I can tell you on exclusive update that there is interest from Saudi. So from Saudi Pro League and especially Al Ahli already in December were appreciating a lot Ivan Tony. Now the interest from Saudi has been revived in Ivan Tony. So there are Saudi clubs prepared to approach the player and offer important money. These clubs have the player in a list with several strikers, not only him, but he's part of a list. We know Richarlison, for example, rejected the move to Saudi Arabia. He said that in an interview in the recent days. Ivan Tony is one of the names they have included, the Saudi dealmakers, in their list for the final days, the final weeks of the summer transfer window. So let's see what happens with Ivan Tony. Obviously, the player decision is crucial because he's the player who has to decide as when he left on his contract. It's a big opportunity in the career of Ivan Tony. So he has to decide what he wants to do. But for sure, the situation remains uh, uh, open in this case for Ivan Tony with this possibility in Saudi. Let's see what the player and his family will decide. And so guys, then your thoughts on all these stories uh, from uh, the story of the day, Bruno Fernandes, exclusive news, but also Romero Lukaku, Nico Pass, Nico Williams, and much more, including Ivan Tony. I wait for your comments here. Like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao.